So thank you. Um, so my name is uh, Joseph uh, Zikusoka. Uh, I'm sure most of you can spell the last name, but um, uh, most most of you now are my friends. I think you call me Zik, right? Uh, Zik is much easier. Actually, back home uh, where I come from, Uganda, I'm also known as Zik, at least in, uh, by most folks that uh, are close to me. I um, I'm supposed to start with a joke. Um, let me try to attempt uh, one, and and that is um, that I I flew all the way from Africa to basically get to Berlin to try and increase my Twitter follower count. <laughs> so, I, good, good. Some people are laughing, so that's great. <laughs> um, uh, so, but but it's please follow me. Uh, those those listening. Those in the, the online um, community. Um, I also have a, a GitHub account. So, but the Git, GitHub is uh, Zikusoka, the, the last name. So you basically GitHub slash uh, Zikusoka. So you get to see some of the work I've done, command line. Main, mainly I've been really big into open source Linux. Um, so I've been writing quite a number of tools, online tools. Uh, uh, that, that I use personally and, and for other things. My experience and connection to Nextcloud essentially is way back from, from the famous folk. I don't want to go through that. But um, basically when the switch happened, I also basically switched. And I've been using Nextcloud uh, literally to, basically to, 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 to help small sized businesses uh, in Uganda. Uh, a couple of uh, uh, companies in Kenya that basically have been installing um, instances of uh, Nextcloud, um, mainly really for office use, but uh, there are also clients that, that, um, that are ma mainly like non-government organizations really doing charity work. Um, so that's been uh, nice because they get to save a little bit of money and then also uh, there's not so much of a hassle with licensing and all that with the big guys. So it's Nextcloud is really it. I'm hoping I can really push that uh, when I return much more aggressively. Um, but uh, so thank you so much for the developers of Nextcloud. You're really doing a great job. In terms of uh, the smart home, um, I really do think that um, uh, Nextcloud really is, is really the, the, the it, 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 it kind of really they, they match, the two, the two really match. Because um, you're, you're really talking about, you're really talking about uh, being local, right? Um, with Nextcloud, you're really talking about uh, it being secure, you're really talking about it being uh, private, right? Yeah, for your privacy. Those are concepts that are really the same thing with a smart home, right? Uh, you really don't need to be uh, literally going into the cloud to, to, to turn on a light, right? I mean, that's kind of like, it doesn't make sense. So we've been using a bit of, uh, not quite open, but uh, ZigBee, Z-Wave uh, protocols. But net, where net, Nextcloud comes in basically is really more the two, like to schedule, schedule uh, reminders, schedule um, uh, basically reminders, and, and then also file sharing. Uh, because then you can have your uh, photos, um, music, um, uh, video files, uh, uh, TV shows that you can push to different devices in the home, uh, uh, smart TV and all that. Uh, as far as the uh, scheduling, you can have your, your birthday reminders, your, your appointments coming up. And basically, we use basically the calendar, mainly using the CalDAV uh, integration. So then you, we pick that up and then use it to, to, to send notifications, say, to your smart speakers around the house, uh, tell, notifying you if, let's say, you have a, an appointment uh, the following day, or you have a, a birthday or anniversary coming up for, for any person in the home. Uh, but so Nextlaw really is, uh, it doesn't seem like the, 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 the first thing you think about, but actually it is, uh, because it's really, uh, really the, the, the idea of uh, it being open and, and being um, open source, being local and being private is really what, what you want a smart home to be, as opposed to something that is, 
you know, like outside and, and, and managed by someone else. So, so I'm, I'm really very, very grateful uh, to you all guys who are doing a great job at uh, like contributing. Um, we are trying so much also to try and see if we can push people towards ne next cloud and, and uh, just in general, but also uh, come up with, with cool applications. I've really met a lot of uh, very interesting uh, uh, folks here, so it's really humbling for me. Thank you so much. That's it for me. Thank you so much, Zeke. Thank you for being here and for talking to us.